Hey everyone, Oli Lindley here from One Number. Today we're going to take a look at moving averages uh, or moving calculations. What are they? How do you use them in Tableau? And if you want to follow along, this workbook is in the description below. It's on Tableau Public, so you can download that if you want to see what I've done. Otherwise, you can just build along with me once we get into the building portion of the video. Okay, so a moving average uh, has traditionally been very popular when analyzing uh, share values over time, investment value, thing like, things like that. And the reason is because it allows you to sort of track trends uh, by smoothing out areas of significant fluctuation. So when there's significant fluctuation on our values, it can be really difficult to work out, hey, are we trending up or, uh, or are we just sort of neutral at this point? Are we going down, whatever it might be? A moving average smooths out those points by giving you an average of the current point and sort of uh, several points clustered around that point. And then as that calculation moves through our window, the points considered change. And so the average moves through our, our window or through the data. So it's a super interesting calculation and very popular. And today we're going to take a look at building that. So just by, just by way of a demonstration, I just wanted to show you the sum of profit. And if we look at sum of profit over time, there are significant periods of fluctuation. So we've got one, two, three, and the moving average below doesn't really reflect that fluctuation in the same way, which is really interesting. And so from this bottom chart, it's probably easier for us to say, yes, we are trending up with profit over time. But in this first chart, what, you know, perhaps it's a little bit trickier to really work out where that trend is going. And that's the benefit of a moving average. Now, we're going to build one. So I'm going to hold down my options key, uh, control, if you're, or yeah, right click and drag if you're on Windows, drag that order date onto columns and select date value month of order date. I'm going to put sum of profit onto rows, just follow that along. And then just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to put another copy of sum of profit on rows and I'll hit the drop down and click add a table calculation. The calculation type is a moving calc. And just to be super clear, I'm not choosing a sum, you know, moving sum of profit. I want a moving average. So just so you know, you have the other options, moving minimum, maximum, whatever it might be. Now, this is what we're talking about when considering uh, a collection or cluster of points around the current point. So what's happening? As the calculation moves through our window, Tableau will now consider the previous three values or the previous four values or five values. So because we can... Uh, sort of stipulate the number of points considered, uh, it it's becomes clear that our moving average is a lagging metric, right? So it's not sort of predicting anything and it is built off of historical data, whatever that might look like. But it's it, the point is to help us identify those trends over time. So the more points you consider, the flatter that moving average is gonna become. So I think I'll just go back to three. Now, I have said, include the current value. So you could have uh, a moving average that doesn't include the current value, but just considers the sort of previous three points, whatever it might be. I want that current value in. And the last option is to null if there are not enough values. Why would you do that? Well, perhaps if we're considering the previous three values and the current value, then the first three values in our chart wouldn't have the same amount of information to calculate that moving average as the rest of the points do. So perhaps it might be slightly misleading to say, well, if you're comparing the, the moving average of the first three points to the next couple of points, uh, it's not really you know, comparing apples with apples. You, you might have that uh, sort of concern. And if that is, a, is the case, then null if they're not enough values. If it's not really a concern, it doesn't matter too much. Of course, you will have literally three nulls and the chart is only going to start at point number four in our case. So we could hide this indicator if we wanted to and just get rid of that. Um, okay, the, the one thing that I do want to show you, I want to show you how to, how to save this to your data pane and kind of crack it open and, and edit that. But before I do, I just want to say, if this is interesting to you and you want to ramp up your Tableau skills, uh, we'd love to work with you. We've got some amazing courses that we're super proud of that we're running over this, this winter period. Uh, so we'd love for you to come and join at any of those if you want to ramp up your Tableau skills in any technical way, shape or form. It'd be super fun to have you there. So in order to save this, I'm going to hold down my command key, control if you're on Windows, and drop that onto the data pane. I'm just going to call this 
moving average of sum of profit, you know, something, something super catchy. And I'm going to right click and edit that. And now you can see, you know, this is, we've kind of like popped the hood and seeing what we're seeing what's underneath. We've got a window average of our sum of profit. And then you'll notice that we've got these minus three and zero. And the minus three over here is giving us the window average of the current point minus uh, three points. So, so giving us from the current point to minus one, minus two, minus three, right? Those three previous points that we asked Tableau to consider. And then uh, the zero being how much further than the current point do we want to go? So looking into the future, the next couple of points, we actually stipulated zero. So that's what's going on under here. So once you've created that moving average, you can save it to your data pane, you can crack it open, you can edit it to be exactly what you want it to be. And you don't have to build the whole view before you write out this moving average calculation. You can just build that uh, straight into your data pane like a normal calculated field, which is super fun. Okay, if you've got any other questions about a moving average or you want to share how you use it, we'd love to know. Uh, pop that down in the comment section below and we always do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, until next time, keep well. Thanks for joining us.